Hey guys, good Thursday morning to you from Domka Outdoors here in Monroe, Michigan. Got a couple of great Inland Lake reports for you. One from Houghton Lake and also crossing the bridge and running up to Drummond Island. We're going to talk with John Goebbels about great perch and smallmouth bass and walleye fishing that's just right there and coming around the corner with the UP opener. Hey, if you're looking for something enjoyable to do though, guys, the MWT, the Michigan Walleye Trail Tour, is coming to Monroe here on May 15, 14, and 15. So that's not this weekend, but the following weekend. Cutoff for that is the Monday before the tournament. You're gonna wanna get signed up for that. $550, three-man teams all over the western basin of Lake Erie. There's no closed area. You can fish Ohio, Michigan, uh, the river, the Canadian side, you name it. This is a great event, big payouts. Get there on the Michigan Walleye Tours website, get signed, get your team signed up, and uh, you'll have a lot of fun, and I'll be there to film the show for you. But hey, so let's talk about these fisheries from Inland Lakes right now. So guys, we got an awesome bite going on on Houghton Lake. It just really started firing a few days ago. We've got reports of big catches of crappie, uh, a handful of catches of improving walleye, some nice northern pike hit in the boat decks. Uh, I think really all we needed was some warmer temperatures. We're going to get that starting today. Uh, you're going to see a lot of consistent mid-60s, even uh, lower 70s for the next 10 days. That temperature and that nighttime higher temperature is going to get those walleye and pike turned on. And guys who love to troll, uh, before the weeds really grow up there on Houghton Lake are going to have a few weeks here to be able to pull crankbaits around. That's really the bite right now. Uh, if you're talking about uh, crappie, you're talking about casting and bobber fishing in and around these emerging weed beds out, oh, six to eight feet of water. So I'm hearing a lot of guys doing good with just flipping one bobber and a minnow out and then making fan casts with really small crankbaits or spinners like a beetle spin, things like that, that are really going to do a good job of isolating those crappie. You can also cast the old style clear bobber with a very small 130 seconds ounce jig, oh, 18 inches to a two foot below it. Make long casts with that and slow lift and drop it in so you're pulling that bobber really slowly along the surface and those big crappie will engulf that jig and pull that bobber down and then you just sweep back. So you're going to want to do that with a seven, seven and a half foot rod so you got a lot of lift and pull. Um, but that's a very old school way to catch them and you know what, it works great. Uh, and that's dragging a jig behind a bobber, slow reeling and, and lift and dropping it. So you're just pulling it along, pulling it along until you find where the crappie are at. Then you can make repeated casts to that area and usually pull a few out of it. And you're searching with a bobber as well. Now, if you're looking for walleye, this time of the year, because there's not really big pronounced weed beds already established because of water temperature, you're going to want to make sure you're out trolling. I'm going to show you a few small bait options for you that maybe you haven't considered that maybe you should. So um, guys are using Rapalas. I really like these number fives and sevens uh, from Walleye Nation Creation. Uh, the golden ticket, this natural perch, not golden ticket, this natural perch one with the orange belly, whitish sides, yellow top. That right there, right there is a perfect bait for uh, this type of an inland lake situation. Another one that works really good that you might laugh at is called Bubble Yum. Don't laugh at it, guys. I have caught more walleye on this bait, Bubble Yum, than any other color that they've made. I'm gonna show you this perch one again in what's called a boogie shad. The reason we're showing you these smaller baits like the boogie shad and the number five uh, shaky shad is because those small baits are critical early in the year. The, the baits that they're hunting are last year's minnows. So they're gonna be that two, two and a half, three inch size. And so you don't want great big baits on right now. You don't want the big aggressive juniors or, or bandits or deep reapers or any of that stuff. You want very small baits. Those very small baits can be trolled really effectively. And if you use your precision trolling app right on your phone, all of the Walleye Nation creation baits are right in there. So you'll have a great time with that. But always remember when you're fishing natural lakes, you wanna fish baits that have white as a base or look very natural. Meaning they're gonna, like even that perch colored one, 
it had a white reflective base on it. Uh, you know, there's a lot of other great baits out there, you know, the, the Rapala line of the number four and five and sixes uh, in the shad wraps, Berkeley Flicker uh, shads come in a lot of different sizes too that fit right in there. Whatever your preference baits is, hone in on those critical natural colors on inland lakes and you'll do well. So Houghton Lake, crappie, northern, and walleye, basically from now to the rest of the next month is going to be really good for trolling. Make loading and unloading your boat easy with the Dorado Catch and Release Automatic Boat Latch. Load with ease, simply drive on the trailer and the Dorado will automatically latch to your bow eye. A hard plastic liner protects your boat. For launching, back your boat in, pull the release lever and away you go. For roller or bunk trailers, the Dorado is quick and easy to install and works with most V-hull boats. Spend less time at the landing and more time fishing. The Dorado Catch and Release Automatic Boat Latch, online at doradoproducts.com. So hey guys, John Goebbels from Custom Eyes up in the Drummond Island area tells me that the fishing is really going to start cranking here now that we're into May. Uh, a little bit of warmer temperatures is getting up there and the big schools of spring run perch are hitting the shallow waters around the island. Uh, you see a couple pictures go across, really nice size fish here. Those are getting in shallow water on perch pounders and live bait. Uh, now that live bait will vary to whatever the guys got at Johnson Outdoors, but typically minnows or wigglers early in the year are going to be an excellent choice for getting those big spring run perch. Now, John loves to target the, the rod and hand fishing for walleye, smallmouth bass, and northern. And uh, it's really, really lights out. You see a few of these pictures, you know, pre-spawn fishing in a river tributary system like that is allowed as long as you immediately release them. So you're seeing a ton, you're gonna see a ton of big smallies on John's post going forwards because I'm telling you what, the St. Mary's River is loaded with big smallmouth bass and they love to spawn in the shallow sandy bays all up and down the St. Mary's, the lower St. Mary's from Manaskong Bay south to the mouth there by the Drummond Island area. So awesome spot to go if you love smallmouth bass fishing, if you love walleye fishing, give John a call. Also in a couple weeks we're going to start talking about the Atlantic run that's going to happen right there in the passage where the ferry runs between the mainland of the eastern UP and Drummond Island itself. That gets to be a hoot. That usually goes from, oh, second or third week of May all the way into the middle of June. There's a ton of funneling uh, salmon that are going to use that passageway to get out onto northern Lake Huron. And if you're there, it can be a riot. So we'll be talking about that in just a few weeks. But get up there, get on Drummond Island's website, find a guide that fishes for what you like to fish for, whether it's salmon or whether it's John for more game fish type like walleye and smallmouth bass. They've got a good group of guides up there that works out of Drummond Island. They've got tons of accommodations and guess what? Drummond Island never sleeps. This place doesn't shut down. It's a year round destination for fishing, ATVing, and just general overall getting away from stress and lots of people. Drummond Island is the place. Thinking about buying a new boat or UTV for next summer? Be ready now and order your 2022 model early and beat the crowd. Ordering right now will save you money and the hassle when 10 other people want the boat you want that's in stock. It's never been easier to order early and get the pontoon or UTV that you want at Lakeside Motorsports Macosta and Nelson Speed Shop in Greenville. With over 36 name brand manufacturers to choose from, top-notch service department, and a state-of-the-art service facility, why go anywhere else? Be ready. Order your 2022 now. Hey guys, awesome couple of reports. We're gonna start getting more and more Inland Lake uh, reports coming in as uh, the ice lets up. I noticed some guys fishing on Burt and Mullet. I'm starting to hear of even some of the uh, uh, Upper Peninsula lakes getting close to, to starting to have their ice honeycomb and be gone. We're looking forward to that report, those reports in the next weeks uh, coming. But stay tuned for Friday's report. We've got a really good report coming to you from the Ohio waters of Lake Erie.